welcome back to my channel so today i'm going i filmed a kind of like back back to school makeup look that you can do it's like a everyday makeup look for school i mean you don't have to wear this much makeup i never wore makeup to school so all i did was my eyebrows this is just like my everyday makeup routine i believe i use different products i don't remember i haven't watched that video since i filmed it but oh yeah this is a voiceover too because my tooth is like messed up back here and it's hard for me to talk a lot so yeah if you want to see this back to school makeup look please keep on watching mm -hmm. Okay, so starting out, I did give you guys two choices for primers only because they're affordable and I ended up going with the matte because my T-zone, my T-zone, what the heck? My T-zone is really oily and I just wanted my face matte all around and I'm going to be blending this in with the beauty sponge because that's the best way I apply to, for my application. For foundation, I am mixing the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation only because they both have different textures and I don't really like the texture of the CoverGirl one by itself because it makes my skin blotchy and all my other products that I apply on top of it patchy as well. So um, I just mixed the two and it, the end result was kind of good. So now I'm just, after this, I'm just going to be blending it in with my Real Techniques one. Okay, so taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and in my T-zone area, such as my the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my forehead, and a little bit on the cubist bow as well, and I'm just going to be applying that, obviously with the wand, and then blending it out with the sponge as well. So taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer once again and applying that on my eyelids just to cover up the discoloration that I do have on my on my eyes and blending that out with a sponge. And I like this concealer for my eyelids because it's not too thick and I don't know, it's just really good for your priming your eyes. Um, here I'm just, you know, dancing because I had food. Now I'm taking my airspun powder and I'm just going to be setting my under eyes and the rest of my face as well. Um, I was kind of not showing you guys. I don't know why I wasn't. I was just turned to the side a little bit. I didn't realize that until I just finished um, filming. So I do apologize for that. And yeah. Okay, so taking my Wet n Wild Contour Palette, I'm just going to be using this to bronze up my face. And I'm going to be applying this on my cheekbones, my forehead, my a little bit on my nose, and also my jawline. And, yeah. Next, taking the Wet n Wild Contour Palette once again, I'm going to be using the yellow shade next to the brown one. And I'm just going to be applying this under 
my contour and bronzer just to clean it up a little bit and also blend it out furthermore and then I'm going to be taking after this clip I'm just going to be taking the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rogue, I believe, and applying this to my cheeks where it's supposed to go. And then after this, I'm going to be using my a Physicians Formula Highlighter and just applying that to the usual spots like the cheekbone or the highest points of the cheekbones and the my forehead and also Cupid's bow and nose, obviously. And yeah. Okay, so taking some setting spray, this is a Maybelline Master Fix, and I'm just going to be sitting, spraying my face with that. And now taking more of that contour shade from the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, I'm just going to be applying a little bit to my eyes just to give them a little bit of color. And, you know, just blending that in my crease, and that's about it. I had forgot to bronze my jawline, so I'm doing that now after I had done sprayed my face and everything. And then now what I'm going to be doing is curling my eyelashes to apply mascara. And I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And I'm just going to apply that how you apply mascara. Now for lips, I did give you guys two choices. This is a Fenty Gloss and an Aquaphor Lip Balm. I ended up going with the lip balm because who wears a lot of lip gloss at school, to be honest? Nobody. So, yeah, I'm just applying that to my lips. And then after this clip, I'm just going to be curling my eye eyelashes one more time just to make them fluffy. And that's it for this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications for videos in the future. Bye.